Namaste and welcome to this short deep stretch yoga class for back, legs and side body. For this class I recommend you have two blocks nearby but if you don't have them that's also fine you can still do the class without them. So keep your blocks nearby if you have them and we'll start in downward facing dog. Grip through the fingertips. Push yourself away from the floor. Relax the head. And at first, keep both legs bent. Really push your chest towards your thighs as close as possible, straightening the arms and the back. Turn the crease of the elbow forward and the elbows back. And then begin stretching and straightening the legs one at a time. Pushing yourself back towards the heels and connecting to the breath. If you know the Ujjayi breath, I recommend you use that for this whole practice. And if not, then just breathe deeply and softly in and out through the nose. Keep breathing evenly. Now you can keep alternating or find stillness with me for three deep breaths, finding your deepest stretch in downward dog. Straightening the legs and pushing the heels towards the ground, relaxing the head, gripping the floor with the fingertips. Three deep breaths here. After your last exhale, look forward and roll forward to a plank position. Drive back with the heels, stretch the crown of the head forward, and then inhale here, exhale down, chaturanga, and all the way down to the floor. Place your hands on your shoulders, inhale, lift just the upper back up with mostly back strength, elbows into your ribs for a small cobra, two breaths here, press the tops of the feet onto the ground, drive the chest forward, one more breath. And then push yourself higher to a high cobra. You may keep the elbows bent or maybe straighten them completely, driving the tops of the thighs into the mat. Shoulders back and down, open the chest, enjoy. One more breath here. and flex the feet, tuck the toes under, and lift to upward facing dog, letting the hips sink, tucking the tailbone in slightly to protect the low back, and maybe looking forward and up for one breath. Inhale, and exhale. And then inhale, lift the hips up and back, to downward facing dog again for just one breath. Mm. 
On your next inhale, lift the right leg up straight and squared, toes pointing down. Stretch the back of the left leg and then bring the right knee into the chest as high as possible and forward until you can step the right foot forward between the hands. Lower the back knee in, low lunge. Here you may take your blocks if you have them. And I want you to put them in the highest position. Square your hips very much in that you rotate that left hip in, right hip back, left hip forward, tuck the tailbone in, the back toes can be tucked or untucked, and make sure that the weight is in front of that left knee, not on the knee. So you're really sinking the hips while tucking the tailbone and finding a deep stretch in the front of the left thigh. Take your blocks and bring them further back as you open the chest. And take two more deep breaths here. Keep that front knee in, don't let it open, square the hips. Find an opening in the whole front body here. And then bring the left hand forward with the block in the second position for a quad stretch. Make sure to keep the hips square. Don't let them open like this. And then twist to the right and grab the back foot for a quad stretch. First, you can let that hip come up and really stretch the foot as close as possible into your glute. Take one breath there. And then while keeping that foot as deep into you as possible, start letting that hip drop for an even deeper stretch into the left hip flexor. Take one more breath here. And release the foot. Turn your torso forward again and go to a half split. First, make sure the hips are squared and let the right toes stay on the mat for a stretch in the front of that right foot. You can untuck the back toes if you want. Really square the hips straight in that front leg. Make the quad hard. And then start moving the crown of the head forward using your blocks if you want. Feeling the stretch in the front of that right leg. One more breath. Then come up slightly. If you don't have blocks, you can, of course, do this with the fingertips on the ground. Stretch the front foot up, flex that foot, make the quad hard again, toes pointing up, and keep walking yourself forward first, finding a deep stretch in the back of the right thigh, breathing into it. And then if you want, you can stay there or fold forward as well for two breaths. Slowly come forward into the low lunge again. Put the blocks away. Frame the foot with both hands. Lift the back knee. Bring the right leg back. Plank. Inhale. Exhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Left side. 
Inhale, lift the left leg up, toes pointing down, legs straight and squared with the hips. Breathe here, stretch the back of that right thigh. And then exhale, bring the left knee into the chest, high up and to the front. Until you can step the left foot between the hands. Inhale and exhale, bring the right knee to the floor. Bring the blocks towards you again in the highest position. But first, make sure your hips are very squared. So rotate that right hip in and down. Tuck the tailbone in, left knee into you. Back toes can be tucked or untucked. Left hip back, right hip forward. And already here, feel a deep stretch in the front of that right thigh. The weight is in front of the knee, so as much on the right thigh as possible, not on the right knee. Then bring the blocks back if you have them, otherwise your hands can be on the thigh. And really keep opening the chest and the whole front body all the way down to that right thigh. Keeping the hips squared and breathing. Two more breaths here. Then bring just the right hand to the floor on the block in the second position. Turn to the left while keeping that left knee in, not rotating it open. And then reach back with the left arm and grab the right foot. At first, let that right hip be lifted and really stretch the foot into your seat for a deep quad stretch. One breath here. And then while keeping the foot in as best as you can, let that hip begin to drop for an even deeper stretch in the front of the right thigh, the hip flexor. Keep that left knee in if possible and take two breaths. Then release that back foot, bring both blocks in for a half split. At first, let the left toes be down onto the ground. Square the hips, left hip back, right hip forward, left quads hard. Really stretching the toes forward and down. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, stretch the crown of the head forward while walking the blocks forward and maybe folding slightly, feeling a deep stretch in the front of that left leg and foot. Two breaths. And come back and up with the torso. Flex the left foot, toes pointing up. Quad hard. Make sure the hips are still squared. And then inhale here. And exhale, lean forward again. As forward as possible first. And take one breath here. And if you wish, then also fold forward here. Relaxing the upper body, keeping that left leg 
straight and active. One more breath. And then come forward back into that low lunge. Now you can put the blocks away. We won't need them anymore today. Frame the foot with both hands. Inhale, lift the back knee. Exhale, bring the left foot back into plank. Inhale, plank, drive the heels back, crown of the head forward. Exhale, chaturanga, hold. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Enjoy this last downward facing dog of the practice. One breath into a deep stretch, pushing yourself back away from the floor with the hands, pushing your weight back onto the heels, hips up, relaxing the head. One breath with me. Inhale. And exhale. And let the knees go onto the mat and open the legs for a straddle pose. So really open the legs here as wide as you can. Toes pointing up, feet flexed. And make the legs as wide as you can as long as you can be straight with the torso, so not rounded like this. So make sure you're sitting on the sitting bones. You may roll the flesh of the buttocks away from the sitting bones. Then straighten yourself up. Both legs active. Inhale here. Lift the arms up. And exhale side bend over to the right inhale there and lift the left arm up really stretching the whole side body keeping that left hip grounded this is the first option if you want to go deeper you may relax and bend that top elbow and let the left hand maybe grab the right foot form the outside. If you can do that, then bring the right arm in front of you to push that left hip down onto the ground. Breathe there and keep opening the chest up. And if you want to go even deeper, then you can move the right arm further in front of you and try to touch the floor with the right shoulder, or at least go in that direction. Then you may use that left arm, grabbing the outer and lower part of the foot, so more near the heel, to twist yourself further open and maybe relax the back of the head on the right leg. Take one more deep breath wherever you are. Then slowly turn the torso down for just one breath towards the leg. So you're trying to bring the chest towards the right knee. Both hands can grab the foot or the left hand can grab the right foot from the outside as you twist yourself further to the outside of that leg. Slowly come up using core strength. And then we go to the other side. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, side bend over to the left side. Inhale there as you lift the right arm up and stretch all the way from the right hip to the right fingertips. This is option one. If you want to go deeper, you can relax the top arm by bending at the elbow and maybe grabbing the outside of the left foot. If you want, you can make the straddle deeper. 
if you realize that it got smaller, so it gets harder to grab that foot. And if you manage to grab it on the outside, then you can use the opposite arm, so the left arm, to push that right hip into the ground. Using both hands to help you twist the chest open towards the ceiling. Breathing here. And if you wish to go even deeper, you can move that left arm further forward and reach with the shoulder towards the ground. Using the right arm to grab the outside of that left foot near the heel and then twisting yourself open further and maybe relaxing the back of the head on the left leg. One more deep breath wherever you are. And slowly turn the torso towards the leg, trying to bring your chest towards that knee. If you want, both hands can grab the foot or grab the foot from the outside with the right hand as you twist yourself further toward the outside of that leg. Take one breath here. And then come up slowly using core strength. We fold forward now for just three breaths. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Here you have two options. You can keep the legs with the toes facing up, feet flexed, and fold forward like this, trying to bring the chest onto the ground. If you are very far, you can also take your blocks to keep you higher up. And then the other option would be to push yourself off of the floor a little bit and lean forward with your toes forward. So almost trying to go into a middle split. Wherever you are, take two more breaths. Sink the hips down, then your last exhale. And then slowly return to center. Well done. We are almost done. You can use your hands to help bring your legs in. Bring your legs straight in front of you. Toes up, feet flex, quads hard. Big toes together, heels a little bit apart. You can move the flesh from your sits bones and then put your hands next to you to help yourself get taller with the spine. Crown of the head up and then shoulders back and down. One breath here. Maybe your heels lift off the floor. And then inhale the arms up, grow even taller. And exhale, fold forward into a deep forward fold. You can at first fold from the hips while keeping your back as straight as you can. And walk yourself forward as if you wanted to bring your belly onto your knees. So really have that impossible idea. <laughs> of with the legs very straight, bring your belly towards your knees. You're still looking forward. Take one more breath there. And then you can let the back relax and round and really make it now a passive forward fold. So you can use your hands to stretch the feet, stretch the toes forward, pointing the feet and stretching the toes back, flexing them. You don't have to keep the quadricep muscles hard anymore. You can just let yourself round and find some movement or stay still for two more deep breaths. 
your choice. Then slowly come up and begin to lie down by keeping the legs straight and using the core muscles, belly button into a spine, into a roll down from Pilates. Belly button in the spine, round the back and vertebrae by vertebrae. Place them on the floor until you get to the ground. Well done. Here, bring the right knee into the chest. Breathe in. And exhale, twist to the left side, lying spinal twist. Try to keep both shoulder blades on the ground, chest facing up. So that probably means your knee won't get to the ground. That's fine. Take one more deep breath here. Exhale, return to center and switch. Left knee into the chest, inhale. And exhale, twist to the right with that left knee. Keeping both shoulder blades on the ground. Left arm straight, chest facing up, and take two breaths. Beginning to really relax and let go here. Slowly come back to center, and then to end the class, you have the option of going into a traditional Shavasana or using this last posture as a passive stretch by bringing the soles of the feet together into reclined butterfly, letting the knees open out. And you can let the arms open or bring them overhead, mirroring the legs. If you do that, then bring the shoulder blades close towards each other and down your back. Maybe finding a chest stretch. And then once you've found your position, close your eyes and let go completely. Really relax here. And don't control your breath anymore. Relax all your muscles, your bones, your face into the earth for just 30 seconds of complete relaxation. Slowly move your fingers and toes. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a hug. Maybe rock from side to side. And then roll over the spine, forward and back a few times. Enjoying the spine massage. And then sit down. You can, of course, feel free to pause the video and do whatever else you may want to include in your practice. But if you want to finish here with me, 
then let's chant one ohm together to close our practice. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands at the heart in prayer. Inhale to chant Om with me. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. I thank you deeply for having chosen me to practice with you today. If you like this class, please leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notifications, and share it with your friends. These things really help me continue making free yoga classes here on YouTube for you. And if you want, you can also let me know which type of classes you'd like to see in my channel next, and I'll try to make that happen. Thank you again and namaste.